Hello, it's me, Davina McCall on Sky One. And today we're bringing you an important report from the Sky Skills Studios. So let's go straight to Studio One. Hello, this is Amani Smith reporting for Sky One on Monday the 24th of September. The top story this afternoon is that the British Crime Survey results released today showed that 22% of children aged 10 to 15 testified to being cyberbullied in the last year to the point where they were frightened. In this report, we'll be looking onto, the fi onto these findings, talking about the impact that cyberbullies may have on the victim's mental health in the long run and what can be done to prevent this from happening. Now handing over to our special media correspondent, Manjima Begum. Thank you, Armani. Cyberbullying is a relatively new issue typically adopted by younger generations and happens on many of the online social sites, those including blogging on, spaces on places like Twitter or Facebook, but it is also common on instant messaging, email and message boards. In the news, more recently has been the trend for the trolling celebrities such as Tom Daly on Twitter. A recent survey asked 2,500 young people about cyberbullying to find out what's going on. 50% de said they had been cyberbullied and sadly a staggering 29% had told no one about it. 73% said they knew who was sending them bullying messages. However, cyberbullying is different from other ways of bullying as it is the only one that happens over social networking. Suspects are able to bully 24-7 and also in a lot of cases remain anonymous. Now back to you, Amani. Thanks, Monjuma. So does this mean that we can blame social networking for cyberbullying? We're now joining Seth James at location Hackney, UTC. Thank you. I'm here today at the Hackney UTC to discuss the facts and findings about the report released today. Earlier on this week, students at the Hackney UTC who had been studying digital technologies had been watching films and discussing about the issues surrounding cyberbullying. The speed of online communication can contribute to cyberbullying because hurtful messages can spread to more people rapidly, with girls being twice as likely as boys to be victims. Although cyberbullying is not a specific criminal offence in the UK, criminal law laws such as Protection from Harassment Act 1997 from the Crime and Disorder Act of 1998 may apply in terms of harassment or threatening behaviour. During their lessons, the class came up with ideas to keep themselves protected from the danger of cyberbullying, establishing some simple ground rules. Always keep your profiles private. Never post pictures you wouldn't want your parents to see. And don't accept friend requests from people you don't know. Now handing over to Chanel and Joelle, who is with an actual victim of cyberbullying. Thank you. Thank you, Julie and Seth. I am Joelle and you join me in UTC where I have been investigating cyberbullying. With 87% of teachers feeling that pupils are e-safe at school, only 58% think that pupils have the knowledge and skills to stay e-safe at home, with a shocking 33% of parents saying that they set no rules for their children's use of social networks. I am now joined by Sharnel. Thank you for coming today. I believe you were a victim of cyberbullying for five years. Yes, it was very disturbing. Even now, I still have flashbacks from the tragic events. Just talking about it brings tears to my eyes. Shocking. It's actually quite sad to hear. How did it start off? It started off with Facebooks and the inboxes. Then it moved to Skyping. Then the constant phone calls. After that, he found out what school I attended and kept stalking me home. Just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, he wanted inappropriate pictures and videos of stuff I didn't want to do but I didn't know what he'll do to me if I didn't do the stuff that he asked. However, I found a button that directed me to the local authorities. From that point on, someone from the support team helped me. He got arrested and a restraining order. Wow, that's very disappointing to hear. Do you have any advice for young people having the same experience as you have had? Yeah, there's some help. There's Childline and ABS, anti-bullying support team. You can contact them at bullying.co.uk. Thank you ever so much, Shana, for sharing that personal account. That's it from me. This is Joelle reporting from Sky News. Back to the studio from, for some expert interviews. Thank you, Shana and Joelle. I'm here with an expert from the Child Exploitation and Online Protection Centre who have developed the Report Abuse button. Hello, Poloska. Can you tell me how the button works? By implementing the Report Abuse button, 
Children and young people will be empowered to report suspicious individuals or, or behavior directly to law enforcement, quickly and easily. The reports come directly to our intelligence center, and the team there are in the best place to analyze, assess, and take appropriate action according to the perceived risk and threat to the individual child. If the accused is seen as a threat, they will be barred from the social network inside and depend on the severe... I will now hand over to Michael, who reported earlier. Some experts believe in that social networking websites will soon overcome chat rooms and a top source of cyberbullying problems worldwide. One anti-bullying charity, We're All Together Better, has launched a cyber mentor scheme to help support young people to become safe online. And in February, Facebook pledged a $200,000 grant for research in, into teens, parents, educators and companies that can work together to foster digital citizenship, reduce cyberbullying and social media in a productive manner. Thank you, Poloska, for coming in the studio for, with us today. That's all right. Thank you for watching and thank you to the Sky Skills Studio team.